In the morning, I'd have no problem removing my shoes and setting out on the easy grip of the roof shingles. And yes, I took a hell of a deep breath and raised my eyes to the sky. Mays peeked his head out and around and gave me a bewildered look, but he no longer wasted his breath advocating I use the stairs like normal people. Let's face it, we were never going to be normal. I found the steadiest rain gutters an inch were in my way carefully down the side of the building and jumped clear to the yard in the back. Anything to avoid the hollows and the packies. There was a rooster like to greet us in the morning with his rousing call from the adjacent backyard behind all the laundry flapping about on someone's line, and the night was decidedly over. Some days I could stay in with Mays and sleep after our long nights in the city. I would get cold and pull the blankets across and over us, and he would get cross and pull the blankets cold out from under me. And I would protest softly, sometimes holding on such that he pulled me with the blanket and then growled at me, to which I might plead more forcefully than even wrap myself deeper around the blanket, by which he would sometimes remit, or other times tug me by the wrists and then take my arms, pull me up on his back and lie back down, at which point I could usually sigh feeling how his body and back were not only warmer but more to my liking than the silly old blanket. Then, after some lucky stretch to sleep on his back, I would find myself capsized suddenly and fall to the floor. He was prone to nightmares and lashing out at ghosts, or perhaps rolled over upon and pressed into the belly of the bed or even taken across the jaw by a flying elbow as he brought his best against a demon of some other world. Hendrix looked in on me there from time to time while we slept, hovering by the window, looking after me. I would cry out for all the sweet gardens I was traversing, or shores I was swimming along in my protected harbor of sleep on a sunny Mediterranean day with the Adriatic lapping up against me now attacked by a great mammal of the sea. Then come crashing back to dear life, of course, and Maze would see me from one up, one down position, perhaps holding myself after injury, and immediately came to me with the most adorable love and concern, realizing what he had done by complete accident. 